Hey, how's it going, freelancers? Today I got some saddening news involving a Bioware vet that is leaving after being with the company for 17 years. This developer's name is Stephen Gilmore, and if you don't know him well, you should know he has been the lead animator on Bioware projects such as the entire Mass Effect trilogy, Dragon Age Inquisition, and Knights of the Old Republic. So he is obviously a hardened Bioware developer and has done some fantastic work in the company. Now it isn't uncommon for developers to leave and move around between companies, but to leave during the middle of such a large and ambitious game raises some suspicion to say the least. To try and erase any suspicions and put our minds to rest, Brian Johnson, another Bioware developer, had this to say. Generally speaking, of course, we are sad when people leave, and we no longer get the opportunity to work with them. But no company is without turnover, even senior people it happens. There is still a very large number of people that have been with the company a long time. Let's take Knights of the Old Republic, came out in 2003 as an example. If you look at the credits under Core Game Design, which is literally the first list in the credits, we have the following. David Faulkner, Stephen Gilmore, Casey Hudson, Drew Karpishin, James Allen, Preston Watama Niyuk, and Derek Watts. The only person in that list that is gone is Steve, with Drew and Casey leaving and coming back. So I know it's easy to look for any details to determine what is going on when there is little news but I would say don't read into departures too much. For now, I can accept Brian's explanation, and it very well is possible that the majority of the animation design is done, but with Visceral Studios' recent shutdown, and this news having been kept quiet for the most part, I can see why many fans are still questioning if there was any alternative moto behind this recent action. What about you guys? Do you think Anthem is maybe having some trouble during development, or do you think this was just an ordinary developer shift? Comment down below and let me know what you think, and if you haven't already, Leave a like and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all on the next Shepard Gaming video. Keyless Alive.